Hello. In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. For all real numbers x greater than or equal to negative 1, and all natural numbers n, 1 plus x to the power of n is greater than or equal to 1 plus nx. Okay, now to start out the proof, since we're trying to prove a statement about every real number greater than or equal to negative 1, let's give ourselves an arbitrary real number greater than or equal to negative 1. And I'll call it x. From here, we want to show for all natural numbers n, 1 plus x to the power of n is greater than or equal to 1 plus nx. And since we're trying to prove a statement about all natural numbers, let's use induction. So let's start with the base case. Now in the base case, we want to prove that this is true in the case where n is equal to 0. So really, we want to show that 1 plus x to the power of 0 is greater than or equal to 1 plus 0x. So let's start out by writing the left-hand side. Now we know that any real number to the power of 0 is equal to 1, and 1 is equal to 1 plus 0, or rather 1 plus 0 times x. So we have that this is equal to this, which implies this is greater than or equal to this. So as you can see, we have shown that this is true in the case where n is equal to 0. So this completes the base case. Now let's move on to the induction step. Now in the induction step, we give ourselves an arbitrary natural number n, where this is true. And our whole goal from here is to show that this is also true if instead of n, we have n plus 1. So really, we want to show that 1 plus x to the power of n plus 1 is greater than or equal to 1 plus n plus 1 times x. So let me start out by writing the left-hand side. Now to start, using our rules of exponents, we know that this is equal to 1 plus x to the power of n times 1 plus x. So notice, we see 1 plus x to the power of n. So maybe we should use our induction hypothesis. Well, if we take this inequality and multiply 1 plus x on both sides, then the sign of the inequality will remain the same. The reason why is because, well, since x is greater than or equal to negative 1, if we add 1 to the other side, we have that 1 plus x is greater than or equal to 0. And because 1 plus x is greater than or equal to 0, when we multiply it on both sides, that's why the sign of the inequality remains the same. So, this inequality tells us that this is greater than or equal to this. And then if we expand this out, we get 1 plus x plus nx plus nx squared. And then notice, in the two middle terms, we can factor out an x, so we get n plus 1 times x. And then, of course, nx squared is greater than or equal to 0, which implies that this must be greater than or equal to this. So through this chain of equalities and inequalities, we have shown that this is greater than or equal to this. In other words, we have shown that this is true, where instead of n, we have n plus 1. And that was the whole goal of the induction step. So this completes the induction step. So since we've completed both the base case and the induction step, this means we have shown by mathematical induction that for all natural numbers n, this is true. And we showed that this was true under the assumption of some arbitrary real number x greater than or equal to negative 1. And since x is arbitrary, this means we have shown for all real numbers x greater than or equal to negative 1 and every natural number n, this is true. And that's exactly what we wanted to prove. So this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.